Reddit getting closer to making its public market debut on the New York Stock Exchange, a social media company targeting a valuation close to $6.5 billion. According to a filing, Reddit and existing shareholders plan to sell 22 million shares in a range of $31 to $34 each. And joining us right now is Ellen Powell, former CEO of Reddit. She is the co-founder of the nonprofit Project Include, and she retains a stake in Reddit. And it's great to see you this morning. I think we're all trying to understand, Ellen, you know, what 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 this IPO means, how to think about the value of this company. Uh, and you've uh, lived inside it for, uh, for quite some time and watched it for quite some time. When you think about the valuation of Reddit today, what do you think? I think it's it's hard. Reddit has always been a strange company. It's always been hard to manage. It's been um, hard to understand its users, and it's been a very unique set of users. So they don't like advertising. They don't like um, being told what to do. And in a public company, there's a lot more regulation. There's a lot more control. There's a lot uh, more limitations, and there's a lot more information shared. So I think it's going to be a very interesting IPO. I'm curious to see where the price winds up over the next few months and uh, and how they deal with moderation in a, under a, a more uh, careful lens. You know, one of the things that the company is now touting is the prospect that revenues from AI and, and allowing Google and others potentially to train on the content on Reddit uh, is going to drive growth in the future. What do you think of that? I do think the data is very valuable. I mean, data, it shares a lot of information. It's, it's interesting because in my time, um, we did not sell the data. We were very careful about the privacy of users. And there is a lot of data that people share over time that can tell who they are. And um, they share, can often share a lot of private information. So it's a different world right now. I was there you know, a while ago. And it will be interesting to see how the users respond. It's a, it's a group that values privacy. And uh, sharing data is a counter to that. This company is 19 years in, so it's not it's not a baby and it's not a startup, and yet it's still not profitable. Um, what do you think about the path to profitability? It's a it's it's a it's one that it's it's a, it's a difficult one. It requires selling your users' data. It requires. Um, limiting the content to uh, content that advertisers are comfortable with. It's kind of counter to the uh, free-for-all that Reddit has been for so long and that uh, the users have rebelled against uh, restricting. So I'm, it's going to be a tough path. And I think that having the public market watching everything that you do is also hard. But I also think that there is something core to Reddit that is extremely um, powerful, where people do want to share on Reddit and people do want to see what's going on. And it is a place where you can find un, unfettered viewpoints. And uh, and sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad, but it does drive a lot of engagement. Hey, Alan, for, for people who aren't familiar, I mean, you know firsthand how powerful that community can be. Um, you resigned after being the CEO for a couple of years, after you fired a very popular employee. And some of the volunteers who run these Reddit groups shut down access, locked out something like 8 million users because they were so unhappy with it. You ended up resigning after that. You wrote something in the Washington Post at that time that, that just talked about how you're worried that the trolls were winning the Internet. Where, where do you think that battle stands right now? This is almost a decade later. Yeah, I wish people had listened to that op-ed piece because I do think it's gotten much worse. I think it's gotten much harder to be on the internet. It's harder to be in social media. It's harder to be um, public. It's uh, an area where there is um, less real information, where there is a lot of disinformation. There's a lot of um, foreign actors who are trying to influence people in the United States and beyond. It's a very... Um, it's hard. I, you know, it, I think for children to understand like what's actually going on in the internet, and now you've got uh, deep fakes, you've got artificial intelligence driving a lot of content. It's a different world, and I don't think it's for the better. Do you compare Reddit and Twitter? Do you put those in the same category? I, I compare them. They're not the same, obviously, but um, it, it's. It's a place where people share information, where they go for information, and where they also try to um, build an online profile. What would you? What, what do you think should be the the comp, if you will? Meaning, if you're an investor thinking about this company, 
What, what are the comparable other companies that you should put it in the same bucket with and then start to look at the multiples, for example, that might have been assigned to those businesses that maybe should be assigned to this one? Obviously, any online advertising company. So if you look at um, the parts of Facebook, uh, the parts of Google that are tied to um, sharing content online, I think Twitter is a good comp. It's hard because it's not public anymore. Um, it's hard because Reddit has always been this unique creature where it really has this mechanism that's driving a lot of usage in a way that um, is deep, but it's also shallow because there aren't as many users who are actively engaged. There are a lot of lurkers. It's harder to get, get onto Reddit. It's harder to um, use the product. It's harder to find content, but there is a tie where people go back. And Ellen, I, we appreciate your perspective on this. Before we let you go, I, I wanted to also get your perspective, if you have one, on what's happening with TikTok. Do you have a view? Should this be a, a business that, that's banned in the United States? I think it's hard to ban businesses. We know people use VPNs to get around it. I think it's an area that should be regulated. I think the U.S. company should also be regulated. You know, recently, Elon Musk tweeted that he's only moving, he's moving his trust and safety group to focus only on compliance with U.S. laws. I think we need better U.S. laws if that's going to be the threshold for uh, social media companies. So the fact that we want to get involved is important. I don't know that it's going to be successful if we try to ban TikTok. Um, it's, it's something that I think a lot of people are using and a lot of people really enjoy, and uh, I think it's going to be hard to stop it.